over here with Chris Polowski, who's going to give us a demo on some poodle tails. All right. Well, the first thing that we have to talk about is our lines on the, you know, on the dog first. And some of the stuff that you need to realize is that poodles in their breed standard have a particular set in their tail. And they should carry their tail straight, up and down. Not all poodles carry their tail that way. So what you want to do is try and lift that tail so that it's as is, is comfortable and as, as straight up as the dog will carry it. And you want to make sure that when you clip her, around the outside the tail is free of hair. So then when you come up here, the tail just is, it looks, if you get here and see, it looks like I've shaved quite a bit up. But when the tail's where it's supposed to be, if you look here, it's just barely touching the, the tail set. So you want to free the tail from hair. Free it up, but not make it look like a big bullseye. I think a lot of people, um, actually, I've never realized that you actually shave it that wide around the base of the tail. I've always been too scared to take off too much right here. Feel, put your finger right there, feel, and watch when I lift it. Okay. It's right where the tail literally connects to the body. You free that up, that way it accentuates the tail being free and more upright. If you leave hair here, it kind of pushes it down. So you want, it's really important for the standard for that tail to be as straight up as possible. So not always what we get in the grooming shop. So then once I clipper that, then I'm gonna follow that clipper line and I'm gonna scissor around the edge of that tail set. And that's just gonna bevel it up for me. And I like to make a little V and clean that up. And then you're gonna come from underneath and lift all that up from underneath and you'll scissor all this off as well, okay? Now, once you get that, then you gotta decide what am I gonna do with the tail itself? And there's a lot to think about with a silly poodle tail, believe it or not. Again, it all revolves around the standard and what the tail should be doing versus what that dog's tail does. We're very fortunate because her tail does sit perfectly straight between her ilium and her ischium, which is awesome. So I can pretty much make this tail even all the way around. Say her tail, this is, say this is where her tail normally was. Mm -hmm. Then I would end up leaving more hair on the top and less hair on the bottom. To give the illusion of it being in the right spot. Yeah. And then you get the crazy poodles that are wild and they're always got their tail over their back. The gay tails. Yep. And then you're going to do the opposite. Take, you're going to take more off here and leave more back here. So those are things that you should be thinking about when you're working on the tail. And then the last thing is how much hair do you leave up here? I think everybody wonders that. Yeah, and it's, it again depends on the dog. Now in Europe, it's against the law to dock tails. So a lot of the poodles you're seeing nowadays have very, very long tails and it's a lot of mixed emotions with them. My thought is that I wanna make them as um, balanced overall as possible. So with a long tail, she's got a pretty long tail. Her her tail is to here. So with a longer tail, you're going to want to try and tighten it down, but you got to be careful not to get that Christmas tree effect. So I, I, in the perfect world, I like them to stack up. I like to lift. I like to find the top of the skull and kind of draw a line right to the top. Now, to the actual skull, not the top knot. To the skull. Because it gives the illusion of a longer neck. If you've got a really long tail, you may end up using the top knot to balance it out. But it's going to depend on the, the length of tail that you have. And so, But with her, we'll work with the perfect world. <laughs> All right, let me find my... And what I'm going to do... And... And I'm going to comb everything down first. All right, so we've combed everything down, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that clipper line that we set earlier, and 
that was set to the bottom of her rectum. So when I pull it down, you can see my clipper line all kind of joins, almost like a little ace of spades. Now, would that be the same for every dog? It's pretty darn close to that. Um, sometimes you can go up a touch higher if you've got a low tail set to kind of free up this area because when their tail sets low and you pull it up, it, it closes that space off. I like to see a little daylight between the jacket or the back hair and the tail. Just a little. Not You don't want to see like a pom-pom, a tail, and a body. But. So we combed it down. We're going to get in here. We're going to scissor right to that line. And I'm, I'm angling just slightly upward, not a lot. And the one thing about the tails, let's see if I can get out of your way here. The one thing with the tails is there's always hair popping out to haunt you. So I do this twice. Really force the hair. Once you get the hair tri trimmed once, second time I really, really force that coat out. Hard, 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 hard. Okay, that's the second time. And you can see I really forced a lot more coat down past that line. Make sure you go all the way around. And if you want, you can come at this angle. And then what I'm gonna do from here is one more time, I'm gonna comb it down, and then I'm gonna take that edge off. So that's gonna create the bevel that you're looking for. Right, we're gonna take that edge off, that's gonna create our bevel. I'm gonna come around here, come around. All right, and that's gonna get that started. Now, because her tail is long, you, ha you can't just pull it and twist it and trim it because you get the perfect Christmas tree. Now if I was gonna paint her tail green, and I might consider that, but what I'm gonna do, because her tail is longer and I need to cut it almost to the tip, I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna comb out her curls here. Stand. I'm gonna hold it from the center. She's fighting with me a little bit. Stand, stand, stand. All right, and I'm gonna come in here like so, and I'm gonna work down and around, okay? Cut in, down, and around. And just try to think, you know, where is she gonna carry that tail, and are you, fixing the tail set and like right now I'm struggling just a little because she's pulling on you know how they do yeah okay so the same with their they joined us this weekend and they're really pretty darn new in our industry and the dog and okay. um, and once I get it about where I want it relax relax she's <laughs> stop 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 relax I'm gonna take and I'm gonna snip that hair. Oh my god. Slight heart attack right there. And then just take and I'll part it. And see how there's that like top effect? We're gonna get rid of that. I've never seen it done like that before. That's awesome. That. Pull it back. And we're gonna split it. And you can see the wads of hair right here. We're going to get rid of that. Yeah. And usually that's as far as I go. But if, if it's not getting the look you want, you can do that again on the sides as well and continue. But typically what I'll do after that is I'll comb them down, shake them out, and I'll take my blenders, my 26 tooth blenders, and finish it off. She doesn't help on my tail. She's like, don't be playing with my tail. Take it out and then just finish it. And this is just to take off the edges that are like sticking out and the uh, make it more more finished, crisp. And tails are really hard because, you know, you get so many different lengths and different coat textures and 
it's hard to get a really crisp finish and these do a nice job you know for the average coat to get that nice like finish where the perfect coats you can use a straight scissor and get them exactly the way you want them I just got told in my last competition to invest in some blenders <laughs> it's worth it and now you can kind of see why because when we lift this up now we've got a pretty nice looking tail I think it looks pretty good it looks beautiful all right, so that's it. That's well, right. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Free demo from Chris Pulaski. You got to love it. Thank you so much. Thanks. Have a great afternoon. Bye.